Hey everybody, my name is Gunnar, welcome back for the video of the NHL 22 franchise mode. We're going to continue this series. We are right now at the playoffs. We are about to uh, see who we're going to be facing off against. But first, we uh, in the last video, we didn't take a look at, uh, we did not uh, look at the individual stats and whatnot. So we're going to do that, exactly that. We're going to see who are uh, the plus players of the league and whatnot. We do know that this year, uh, for us, it was Patrick Laine, 52 uh, goal, uh, goals for him, and 102 points. So, best player by far of our team. Uh, our first 50 goal score ever since we've got, uh, ever since I took the realms of the Buffalo Sabres. So, that's really good. Afterwards, it's McKinnon with uh, 40 goals. He dropped a little bit right there. Definitely uh, underproduced. Uh, Compared to last year, but he still doing, did great. I mean, 87 points, uh, 97 points, but it's not, it's definitely not the 113 points. Actually, he got uh, 50 goals last year. Never mind. It's not the first time for Line A. Okay. So last time we did have McKinnon at 51 goals. Okay. Uh, we also have Pasternak did all right. Larkin uh, doing okay as well. Keller. Marner 70 points in 72 games played, boys. So Marner really played uh, very well. Had a really good season. Uh, Rantanen, uh, he did all right. Could have done a little bit, a lot better. Kuznetsov was the same thing, really. Owen Power finished off with 34 points, 55 points for Darlene. Uh Let me see for Owen Power though. A lot better. Yeah, his best season by far of his career. 24 goals as a defenseman as well, boys. You're talking about something right here. This guy is a goal scorer. He's a born goal scorer. That's crazy. We also have Parnes and Lazarev. Parnes having uh, 13 points. So his best season of his career as well. And Appleby didn't do too much. Uh, outside of that, we do have uh, Sebastian Kasha, uh, Kasa, which became our new uh, main goaltender. We gotta uh, remember that we did trade away uh, Jack Campbell, so Casa is gonna be our goalie, uh, playing mostly for the uh, playoffs and stuff. So, uh, finished off with 37 uh, wins. He ended up having 15, 5, and 1 of a record uh, for us uh, so far this year. So he did all right. He did pretty good. Let me uh, go see now the entire league, boys. We're about to go see what the entire league looked like without an Ovechkin. That is. So we're going to have a, definitely a brand new um, a Maurice Richard uh, trophy winner. And that's going to be Matthews with 60 win, uh, sixty goals. So Matthews is the best scorer this year, 60 goals. We've got Danila Yurov, 56 goals. Uh, Line A, 52. The Brinkat, 51. And uh, Matty Beignet, boys, with 50 goals. Lots of 50 goal scorers. Sebastian Ayo with 177 points, the best player of the league. Teravainen, Line, McDavid, Debrinkat, Svechnikov, Kane, uh, Matthews, and Dreisaitl. So everybody doing re uh, great. Uh, Kane having still 100 points at 38 years of age is another one of those big time studs, boys. At uh, 600, uh, 1600 points in his career. Let's see if he can uh, continue to um, to produce like that for uh, or see if he's uh, that was his last year or whatnot. Uh, next up. Defensive-wise, Quinn Hughes, the best defenseman, 94 points in 82 games played. We've got John Carlson as well. And that's uh, about it. You can see everybody else in there. For next part, uh, the best goaltender looks like it's probably going to be Gustafsson, boys. With 42 wins, Gustafsson, uh, an interesting season for him. He popped off big time, with, followed by Shesterkin, Saros, and Demko. At 41 wins. Caden Primo with the Ottawa Senator, uh, Senators at 40 wins. Okay. Portillo, Knight, Samsonov, and Kasha right there. Want to see really quick. Where's Jack Campbell? 30 wins, 32 wins. So K Campbell did not do anything for them. 2 and 10. Yikes. Yeah. So Campbell is having a really tough time with his new team, I guess. The rookies. Best rookie of the year, uh, Dvarsky. Whatever his name is. So he's the best uh, rookie. So that was pretty much it, boys. Let's find out. Uh, we did have the third, for the third time in a row, third year in a row, the President's Trophy. We're about to find out, though, uh, who we're going to be facing in the first round. It's going to be up against 
the New Jersey Devils. All right, I think that's a uh, second time in a row though, as well that we face them. I think last time was the Blackhawks that won the cup last year, so they are in there. They have a chance to win it back again. Let me uh, see really quick. So uh, we're gonna look at the lineups, see what uh, we are up against, boys. Hopefully, it's like last year. We're gonna be able to defeat them. I hope so at least. Uh, where are they at? There, there they are. So Fiala, Jack Hughes, and Holtz. They've got Crosby and Malkin back together, and they're they're playing on the second line. So they go. They both. They have both of them. Uh, Malkin, of course, our former player. He used to play for. For us, for a little bit. He played for us for a little bit. And then we traded him away to Detroit, it looks like. Uh, or we got rid of him entirely, I'm not too sure. But it looks like uh, he got traded away to New Jersey. So both Crosby and Malkin uh, on New Jersey with uh, O'Reilly. We got Sharon Govich with Isher and Stillman. Iafalo, Height and Mercer. So interesting choice of uh, placement right here for their players. Uh, Smith, Hamilton. Uh, Luke Hughes uh, with Romanov and Oleksiak and uh, Larson. They've got a decent team. They got a decent team. They got Vladar in the net though, so nothing crazy. But uh, they, they do have a decent team, boys. So we got to watch out for that. We're going to hop on in directly with our brand new team. Let's see how it's going to look this year. Hopefully, we're going to get lucky. Hopefully, it's gonna, the, game, the simulation is going to be on our side, boys. Uh, the problem is, is getting past that third round, right? We always got to the third round. We can't get past it for some reason. So we are basically outplaying them big time. Outplaying the New Jersey Devils big time now. And uh, we can't seem to score on them. Looks like Vladar is definitely doing his job on the other side. We're getting power plays and it's not doing the trick either. Uh, there we go. Finally a goal for us. Pasternak is going to score a goal for us. Can we get a power play goal? Like... Every time we get, we got a lot of power plays and we couldn't score a single one. Penalty kill, we kill it off. And they're still going to score though on 5 on the 5. So they're finally going to score on us. It's uh, this an interesting game. We're definitely dominating them, I would say. Or we dominated them for the most part. But now there's sh the momentum is shifting, uh, shifting back on the other side, it looks like. But Larkin's going to stop them dead in their tracks. Good. That's really good. That's the type of thing I want to see more often. Let's see, is that going to be it right there? Is that going to be the game-winning goal? It is. So Larkin giving us the goal, right? Uh, the win. Okay, so that's a 2-1 two, uh, two to one, uh, win. That was a tough one, boys. I am not sure if uh, we're doing okay or not. If that's uh, truly how we should be playing. I mean, we're doing, uh, we're doing fine. Could definitely be doing better, though. All right, let's see. I went ahead and made a little bit of modifications here and there to our lineups. Maybe spice it up a little bit. Hopefully, that's not going to screw me over or whatnot. And it's actually going to help us out instead. We are actually really getting outplayed big time right now. It looks like at the beginning of the, the game, at least, they were getting outshooted. Uh, so now it's Kasha's time to actually, doing, uh, to actually play out on top of his mind. Uh, decent enough, I guess. So it's a pretty even matchup. I'd say with the veterans like Crosby and Malkin on their team. Uh, there we go. Like just exactly as I said it. Power play goal for Crosby. But Keller answers right back. So yeah, I, I'd say with the advantage, they've got clearly an advantage. They've got Malkin and Crosby and Mercer now. Okay. So yeah, they're popping up, boys. They're scoring goals now. So Crosby and Mercer. Middle stats scoring goals for us. There we go. So it's not over yet. Definitely not over yet. We can bounce back up. Just got to prevent these uh, uh, these veterans like Malkin and Crosby to pop up like that. Because they're... Okay, no, well, never mind. We're not going to be able to stop them. Crosby scoring another goal for them. So they're showing off. These veterans, uh, legendary veterans, are showing off for them. That's rough. That's definitely rough. Um, and we're going to lose this game because of it. Because of Crosby. So we're going to be forced to go into a third match, which is scary, boys. As soon as I change the lineups, this shit happens. That's not good. We're going to uh, go right into it. And straight off, one shot, more, uh, first shot, first goal for Luke Hughes. That's great. That's really great right there. Uh, Kasha, can you stop the puck more often, please? There we go. Power play goal for Kuznetsov. 
Finally, a special team, uh, special teams uh, goal for us. About damn time, boys. To go special team going on our side a little bit. Now, here's the thing. I don't want to jinx us, but I, I want to... Uh, we need to stop Crosby. We need to prevent Crosby and Malkin for, uh, from doing just like last game and popping off, right? We need to stop them. Then there are tracks. Play, uh, I'll play them. When they're on the ice, just focus on them. Prevent them from uh, being too much on the offensive zone and whatnot. So two periods to go. Uh, one period to go. And uh, we are a little bit, uh, have a little bit of advantage over goals. And we get a goal right after a penalty kill as well. Power play for us, we can't score. But at least Marner, that, that goal that he gave us, is going to give us an extra advantage right there. Let's see if we can, if Kasha is going to be able to shut it down for us. Another power play, we cannot score goals on power play. But that's going to be enough. So thanks to, Fash, uh, to uh, Kasha. Uh, being a really good goaltender for us, he's able to be clutch and actually shut it down. Which is going to allow us to go into the second round, boys. Now, it's definitely rough. Who are we facing against in the second round, boys? It's the uh, Ottawa Senators. So, we're facing the Ottawa Senators in the second round. Okay, so another tough team. The Blackhawks are still in there, so they still got a chance to win the cup back-to-back. The Rangers are still in there, though. Okay. Now, we need the Hurricanes to eliminate the Rangers. Either way, it doesn't matter because both the Hurricanes and the Rangers uh, in the previous years have eliminated us in the third round. So, it, it doesn't really matter. But uh, if we gotta, if we're going to have to get first past the, the Ottawa Senators, which uh, as a team, they have Brady Kachuk, Kano Bedard at 94, and Stutzel. Josh Norris and Sean Wright in 90 overall with Cor uh, Coronado, boys. Darlene and Lawton and B Batterson. Benstrom, Pinto, and uh, they've got Brett. So they've got a really good team. Really good offensive team, boys. It's kind of scary. Defensive wise, they got Shabbat with uh, Brandstrom, Sanderson, and Thompson. Sanderson, okay, so high top four. Severson and uh, Bernard Docker, boys. So, uh, Udoke, however you want to name, uh, name uh, however he's named. They also have Caden Primo, which Caden Primo was one of the best goaltenders of the league. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see. Oh, he's a really good goaltender this year, at least. Yeah, all right. They've got a really good team. They've got a really good team. It's, uh, yeah, it's going to be rough. Against the Connor Bedard as well. Trying to stop a guy like him. It's going to be bad news, boys. Uh, we got to start uh, for figuring out a way to score in the power play. That's definitely something we need to figure out, boys. Uh, Brandstrom is going to score the first goal against us, which is um, not good. I'm sure we can bounce back off. Uh, just score a couple of goals for on our side. There we go. Renton and scoring a goal for us. Yeah, so we, I'm sure we can bounce back off. I'm sure we can do it. You just got to uh, have like the right... The, the right setup, the right people behind uh, the plays and stuff like that. Penalty kill, followed by our power play on our side. We cannot score on the power play. Power play seems to be our weakness this year, boys. It really seems to be our weakness. And that's uh, not good. At least in this um, real-time simulation. Real-time simulation does not seem to be uh, kind to us at all. Coronado scoring a late goal for the Ottawa Senators. But Parnes early goal for us right back. Pasternak answering back as well. Great. Good. Josh Norris scoring a goal for them. All right. Power play five on three. Come on, boys. There we go. Power play goal for Mekinen. Another Followed by another power play, of course. We killed that with four, uh, five on three. So, yeah, that was a big power play for us, though. But a power play, a power play goal for Brandstrom. Whoever took that penalty on our side was stupid. Was pretty retarded because now we're forced to go into overtime. That was a... That was a shootout fest, boys. Four goals each. The goaltenders did definitely not a goaltending game right there. All right. Well, they can definitely score as many goals as they want, just like us. That was a good game for us, and they managed to score as many goals. So uh, it's going to be scary. We're just going to hop into the game, boys, and uh, watch it happen. All right, here we go, boys. So we're starting off. Overtime. 
uh, first game uh, right off the bat against the Ottawa Senators. Let's see if it's going to go on our side or whatnot. Marner shooting and right away Marner is going to score a goal for us. That's what I'm talking about. Sniping it across the net. There it is. Being clutched this time around, boys. We got Marner doing the deed for us. And that's going to give us the win for the first game. Allowing us... To move, uh, to, to move to a second game at least without having to worry too much. So, really good, boys. Really good. I'm really happy with, uh, with what we got so far. We're doing uh, uh, pretty good. Just got to win the second game now. All right. So, we're getting ready, boys. Uh, we won that game against the Ottawa Senators. So, I'm confident with the team we have. Even though we had a shootout fest, I'm confident that we can still win it. Johnson, a goal for us. So there we go. Second goal, I believe. A second shot of the game. And he scored a goal. So that's good. Power play for us. Uh, the other one, the Senators, are getting as many power... Uh, a lot of penalties. So maybe they're un very undisciplined. Maybe we can take advantage at some point of that. Larkin getting a late goal for us. Which is very good. Giving us a little bit of an advantage. Darlene's going to score on their side, though. Followed by a penalty kill. But... Right after the, after the penalty kill, middle stats going to score goal. So that's really good. Another penalty kill. Kill it off. Power play. We can't figure it out, boys. We cannot score on the power play. There's another one right here. Yeah, I've, the Ottawa Senators are very much undisciplined. Must because of all these young a, uh, these young players, boys. But all right. There we go. Kuznetsa scoring a goal for us. Yeah, and Me followed by Mekinen. So we got it. We got this game in the bag, boy, at this point. Yeah, Mekinen's uh, second goal power play as well. Coronado, uh, Coronado's going to score for them. But this game is pretty much in the bag now. Middle stat power play goal. All right, now that the game is pretty much over, we're, f we're scoring goals on the power play. That's great. Well, at least we did it. We managed to sweep the Ottawa Senators. Now, we're seeing like uh, some sort of uh, pattern going on, boys. We have always a little bit of a tough time getting past the first round, but we do it. Uh, we uh, always sweep, uh, sweep the second team so in the second round. It's always, now we come to the third round. Is it going to be any different this time around? Who are we facing? Uh, uh, Car Carolina or the Rangers? We're about to find out. It's going to be the Hurricanes. So the Hurricanes are going to be our rivals for the third round. At least we don't have to fight against my old players and the Rangers. Uh, that was rough last year what they did to us. But uh, we still have to face against the Hurricanes, which they did, I think it was two years ago or something, two or three years ago. Uh, it, they were one of those teams that defeated us in the third round. So here's hoping that we are going to be able to defeat them and get finally past the third round. Uh, the uh, Chicago Blackhawks are still in there, so they still have a chance for the uh, for a second in a row. So let's find out the Hurricanes. What do they look like? They've got Svechnikov, Ao, which was the best player of the league, boys. The two best players of the league, actually, I should say. With Teravainen playing with Teravainen, Galchenyuk with Bergeron and Jarvis. Uh, remember, uh, this is very similar, but they don't have the other players well below. No, they are. They really don't have anything. Uh, Slavin, you know, okay, so they don't have any defense and goaltender is fine. The goaltending is fine, but uh, so they don't have any defense. We'll figure it out. We'll find out uh, if that is good enough. I'm tempted to say offense is everything in the real time simulation. If you have offense, it uh, literally saves your ass. Uh, defense uh, is doesn't matter at all. So you, you don't want to. You basically do not want to build a defensive team because it's not going to do shit for you when it comes time to real-time simulation for the playoffs. What you want to do is create the most offensive team possible. As uh, said, Jarvis is literally going to score a goal at like 20 uh, 20, calls, uh, 20 seconds left. That's uh, that's great for us right there. The great way of breaking the momentum. All right, boys, you got this. We got a lot of penalty killers right now. We have to kill off a lot of penalties. Can find a way maybe to score at least a goal. Uh, surely we can score a goal on the Hurricanes. I mean, uh, there we go. Owen Power scoring a goal. There we go. I was about to say. I mean, surely we can. Uh, we could have scored a goal. I mean, he's not undefeatable. We got a better goaltender, I believe, overall. Uh, and Kasha than uh, they have in Ohm. So, I'm pretty sure we can defeat them. 
We're about to go to an overtime again. Never mind. No, it's not going to happen because Ao decided to that his team was better than ours. So uh, I guess... Oh, never mind. Darlene and Sray back at 3 seconds... 15 seconds left, actually. So 15 seconds left at the last period, boys. And Dal uh, Rasmus Darlene being clutch for us. Really clutch. All right, he's going to allow us to go into an overtime and give us a higher chance of higher chance of uh, winning it. All right, boys, second overtime of the of the day for us. Let's see if it's going to do a go for like last time. All right, let's go, boys. Aggressive, full attack, full attack. You you got this, Mekinen right there. Shoot it, buddy. There we go. Go for straight rebound right there. We've got Marner like last time. Chitron score shooting. That's not going to be enough. Not quite. All right, uh, get past him. There we go. Block his path. There's Marner, our hero from last overtime. Let's see if he's going to do anything unless Linus <laughs> nearly loses the puck. So here comes Darlene passing the puck to Mekinen. All right, and we're going to have to go straight through. Linus shooting up, but Holm is going to stop it. Oh, we're going to put the second line in there, second pair as well. Looks like Seth Jarvis is the second best scorer of the playoffs right now. We gotta watch out for him. Uh, yeah, the Hurricanes, by the way, also are rocking the uh, retro Whalers jerseys right here. Don't know if it's gonna help them, uh, help them or not. Hopefully not. But uh, I'm rocking a, a different jersey as well for this game. Empty net. Oh, so we got a power play, boys. Not good. We're gonna have to kill off a power play. All right, uh, passive. You guys uh, do large box. Gonna ask my players to do large box right here. And uh, hopefully we can kill it off. And even possibly imagine if we do a shorthanded goal, that would be great. But right now we gotta focus on killing it off. So please, parents, do your thing properly. Do not lose the puck, right? All right, yeah, there we go. Be aggressive, be aggressive. Good job, Kasha. Kill off the penalty right here. All right, boys, so we're doing uh, pretty good right now. We just got to find a way to kill off the penalty. I don't know who went into the bench, actually. I didn't look at it. Um, but uh, right now, we just got to focus on killing it off. So Power is going to try and break it out. That was a weird-ass pass by Owen Power right here. Don't know why he, he tried to go on the left side. But this time around was a good choice, though. Up to Rentonen. There we go. In the middle. Oh, the good try. Good try by Rentonen. Tried to go to the middle right here. Okay, we got to stop that pass from happening. And Kasha's going to stop that play. All right, there we go. Uh, second line. There we go. Put the second line in there. And we're also going to get rid of the uh, protect the net situation. We're just going to do normal. And uh, we're going to go ahead and win. Can we win that face off? There we go. Good win by uh, Marner right here. Winning that face off. All right, guys. Come on. You got this. Do not lose the puck. Lazarev. Dump it, buddy. Dump it. Dump it. Get rid of the puck, man. Do not try and drive it in like that. I don't like that. All right. There we go. La Lazarev. Up to Marner. Marner's going in. Uh, up to Middlestat. Middlestat's going to try and drive in. He's going to try and play. So they're very aggressive, my players, in, uh, in overtime. Oh, there's Kuznetsov. He's going to shoot it. He had a right open space right there. Up to Marner. And he couldn't score this time around. Kind of a weird back end, to be honest. Uh, we'll put back the third pair of defense alongside of uh, the second line again. So Kuznetsa, Keller, and Pasternak on the second line. Let's see if that's going to work out for us. All right, we got to find a way to beat these guys. They've got the puck. Uh, be aggressive. Be super aggressive, boys. Let's go. Don't let him shoot. Don't let him shoot. There we go. Up to Keller. Keller is going to lose the puck at the blue line. Great. Up to Bergeron. Watch out for him. Don't let him shoot. There we go. Don't let him. Sh don't let anybody shoot. Pasternak's gonna drive it in. All right. Up to Kuznetsov. Up to Keller. Oh my God! They lose the puck again. All right. So it's a really tough game. A really close one. Really close one. All right. Stop it. That in the tracks. Make sure that we get the the puck before getting rid of it. Okay. Up to the third line now. We're gonna switch for a third third pair. Right here. They're gonna they're gonna lose it. All right. All right, good, good, good. Middle stats got the puck. And home, that's going to force home to stop it right here. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for the third line. Why not? Th third line's been doing quite well right now. So we're going to focus on middle stat, Genzel and Rentonen. See what they can offer us. Watch out because we're facing off against their first, uh, first line right here. So 
Hopefully, we're going to be uh, still doing good. There we go. Good job, boys. Good job. Yeah, you still got the puck. Up to middle style. Up to Genzel. Shoot it, buddy. There we go. Getting lots of shots, but Aaron Holm is actually playing very well for his team. He's playing very well. We're going to have to change soon for the fourth line or something for another a different line. All right, they've got the puck. All right, time for a line change. Fourth line and uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Just shoot it. Shoot it and go for the line change as soon as you can, buddy. There we go. There we go. Uh, my defense, I don't know where it is. Don't know where my defense is right there. That was kind of weak. They allowed that 2v1 almost uh, to happen. We're going to go uh, second pair of defense. I don't know what that effort was all about, but def definitely no effort right there. All right, guys. We got to find a way to put it in the net. Olufsen all the way up to Johnson. All the way up to Olufsen. Rebound. And Holmes going to stop it again. Aaron Holm playing on top of his mind, boys. Now we got Svechnikov on the other hand. Spiron's doing a great defensive job blocking that. All right, you got the puck right here. Uh, go ahead, shoot it. Go for the rebound, maybe. Holm's going to stop it anyways. So, uh, yeah, we're going to hop on in. Third pair, you know what? First pair of defense with the first line right here. Line has only got one point so far in the playoffs. And it's an assist. It's not even a goal. Maybe he should start waking up a little bit. Uh, all right, so Svechnikov's going to drive in. Svechnikov having a good uh, time right here on the opposite side. But uh, Pirates is really doing a good job shutting him down as well. So that's a good thing. Marner is going to lose a puck. That's a really bad pass by Marner. All right, Owen Power is going to drive it in. Oh, that's a bad pass by Owen Power as well. We're going really bad passes right here, boys. There we go. Block him in. Block him in. Don't let him drive like that. There we go. Liney is going to get the puck. All right, tr change the pair of defense right here. Up to Liney. What a play right here. Try to dig to the middle line. Almost worked. Uh, almost worked, boys. All right, I won the first pair right here. First defensive pair, and uh, we're putting the second line. Let's see if Kuznetsov's lines can do something, boys. He's not going to be able to win that faceoff, though, unfortunately. He is pushing, though. Definitely pushing. All right, defense. Block him. There we go. Good job. Good job. We're playing really good defense. Never mind. Uh, Josh Anderson getting the puck back again. All right. Come on. Keller, get the puck and get rid of it. Pass it or something. All right. Good. Good breakout. Kuznetsov. Going to lose a puck. There we go. Loose puck picked up by Pasternak. But Aaron Holm again is going to be able to stop that. Oh, this is going to be a long game, boys. This is going to be a really long one. Pack your seat belt, get your chips, your popcorn, because this is going to be a really long one right there, boys. All right, Pastor Knack, maybe getting a chance. Never mind. Not going to happen. All right. Uh, keep the same lines in here as long. They're doing fine. The second line's doing pretty good. This is stressful, boys. It really is. I need these guys to start picking, uh, picking it up even a notch more uh, right there. We're going to have to go into a second overtime, probably. As uh, the other player is coming in, we're going to stop him. Yeah, Chichiren's going to get the puck uh, up to Kiznetsov. And that's pretty much going to be it for the the first overtime. So we're going to a fifth period, boys. Second overtime. And as you can see, we've got 50 uh, shots on the net. Which means Aaron Holm is absolutely playing on top of his head, boys. He's playing like a maniac. He really is trying to keep his team in there. Everybody knows whoever wins the first game gets a huge advantage right here. So we got to win that first game. Come on. Be super aggressive. Try and uh, stop them the other tracks. There's Aho. We stopped him. Good. Good play. Good play. Dump in the puck as well at the same time. And we got the puck. Here's Marner, our hero from last time. Rebound. Went for the rebound right there. It did not work, boys. There's a shot. Free shot right there. Rebound again. And there it is. Nathan McKinnon after the third and fourth rebound. Uh, Aaron Holm can only stop so many. He can't do uh, all everything for, by himself. And that's going to allow us to get a 1-0 uh, win right here. So a uh, 1-0 uh, advantage in the, in the third round right here. It's the first. Think about it, boys. Ever since I was the GM for the Buffalo Sabres. It's actually the first time we won a single game in the third round. 
that is a crazy thing to think about. But the fact that we have a chance to get past it is all the more very, all the more uh, crazy. So can we man manage to do it, boys? Can we clinch it? Let's go right into the second game right here. That was a really long game, the first one. Uh, going all the way to a fifth period and stuff, uh, like a second overtime and all. So let's hope that uh, we get an, a, a, a good simulation on our part as Keller's going to score a goal, but Runanen, I don't know who that is, but he scored a goal for them. So tie it up. But Owen Power being clutch for us. Oh, and Teravine and answering back. But every time we score a goal, these guys score back. Very reminiscent of the uh, New Jersey Devils type of uh, round right there. Patrick Line is going to score a goal for us. Penalty kill right afterwards. So we kill it off. Now we got to shut it down. So please, Kasha, all you need to do, shut it down. All right. We're still in the second period. Just shut it down. Do your thing, my guy. I believe in you. I believe in you, Kasha, please. I picked you up in exchange for Campbell. Campbell was a solid goaltender. I was not able to give us the advantage to get us past the third round. I believe you can do it. I want to get you to so you could do that job that Campbell couldn't do it. All right, can we do it, boys? One minute, and we did it. That's a 38th save night for uh, for Kasha. So Kasha really did great for us, boys. He did exactly what Campbell could not do for us all these years. Uh, and that was getting us past the third round. And not only we got past the third round, we swept our t the, our, the, our rivals. So, oh, that's a good news. For the first time, we finally get to the Stanley Cup play f finals, boys. Now, is it going to be against the Seattle Krakens or the Chicago Blackhawks? It's going to be against the Seattle Krakens, the Blackhawks, the Stanley Cup, former Stanley Cup champions are dethroned. And now we're facing off against a really dangerous team, boys. We're talking about 51 uh, wins type of team right there. One of the best teams. So two of the best teams of the league. Fitting that they're facing against each other in the finals. Let's see what the Vegas... Uh, let's see what the Seattle Krakens have. They have Peyton Krebs, Matt Benny, and Connor Zari. So a bunch of prospects. Uh, Jack Jacobs, a medium elite player, with Mac Denny, which is always a medium elite as well, and Jagger. We've got Ertol, Ye uh, Yiki, uh, Joseph, Koshten, uh Bluger, and Absplon, boys. They've got lots of big time prospects, boys, that they picked up. So a lot of big time prospects, and this is the scary part. These prospects. It's a really in-depth team right there. They don't have any 70s, so they're they, an in-depth team, boys. Dangerous team. Uh, no defense, though. They do not have any defense whatsoever. Uh, Goaltending-wise, they've got some good goaltender. Although Gustafsson's been uh, pretty garbage, it seems like, in the playoffs themselves. So we'll see how that goes for us. We're going to hop on into the first game, boys. Definitely see how that goes. we got a much better, de better defensive team. But uh, all that defense that they don't have as the as defensemen, they probably have it for like the deep core of the offensive side. We'll see, boys. But Patrick Line did score a goal right off the bat for us. We are in the finals, so here's hoping that we play our best game, our best game of our entire career right here. There's Genzel scoring a goal for us. There we go. I want to see us play our best game. The Seattle Krakens ain't got shit on us. All right. We can beat them. We got the advantage. We got these uh, superstars. We've got better defense. Our goaltender is a little bit better. So let's do our thing right here. All right. Let's play as be as good as we can. As Pastor Nax going to score goals, giving us a 3 1 uh, win right now so far. Let's go, boys. Two goal advantage for us. Akasha, once again, I'm going to call for you to shut it down, buddy. Got, you got yourself a two-goal advantage. Jacobs, one of the medium elite prospects, going to score a goal for them. Shut it down, buddy. Very tight game at the end uh, uh, right there. And Patrick Leidney is going to score an empty net goal, giving us the win. There it is. So, boys, we are one game away 
one win away from getting the Stan winning the Stanley Cup for the first time in this Let's Play. Can we finally do it? I hope so. I hope we're going to be able to do it. Let's hop on in, boys. Let's do this shit. I'm willing. I, I'm ready to uh, to do this. I want to win it. There we go. Pirates. First shot. First goal for uh, for Pirates. Great. That's my better my prospects, boys. Coming in clutch in the playoffs, and we can still get it. We still we got plenty of time, boys. Take your time. Patrick Liney showing off uh, as Matthew Benny is going to score a goal to answer back a little bit, but. Patrick Lani is actually showing off in the finals. Well, you know, at least he's there when it matters. Pastor Nack is here as well. Definitely. My scores are scoring goals. That's really good news right there. Really good news. They are outplaying us a little bit as Zari is going to score a goal for them. So they're definitely outplaying us a little bit. But we have the one goal advantage right here. Can we keep it like that? Kasha, come on, my guy. One period away, half, almost half a period away from winning the Stanley Cup. We got this. We got this. Pasternak getting a second goal for us. Kuznetsov with the fifth goal of the game. There we go. We got this, boys. Clutch it off. Do it. Two minutes left. All right. We're, we're going. Uh, we're, we're entering the game, boys. I want to see the celebration. We need to see it. Here it is, boys. Two minutes away from winning the Stanley Cup. Can we finally do it? After three years uh, in a row where we won the President's Trophy. But can... Uh, in two, uh, two, years in, uh, two years in a row... Uh, no. After two years in a row where we won the President's Trophy. Two or three years in a row or something like that. Uh, we finally can... Uh, we are finally kind of managed to do it. So let's go, boys. Uh, full aggressive on their ass. Full aggressive. You got this, boys. Go straight up. Whoa, there we go. Kasha's going to stop that one. All right. I want my first line in there. There we go. You can see it. Oh, oh boy. Great cutscene right there, EA. Please. Show me it. Show it to me, EA. All right. Well, never mind, boys. The cutscene completely glitched out. It, it's whatever. It's EA after all. Not everything can work into their game pro properly. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a good... It, it wouldn't be an EA game. All right, so Darlene up to Chitrin, up to Line, which got himself uh, a, a goal in this one. Uh, Mekinen's going to try and score one, but Gustafsson. Remember, Gustafsson with the most wins during the regular season. He's the best goaltender in the league this year, at least he was. Uh, ended up uh, giving a little bit uh, too many goals against us, I guess. Not as good in the playoffs. Not a playoff performer, boys. This is why it's important to get the right goaltender at the right time as we're going to stop Zari from shooting the puck. Darlene's going to break it out. Up to Mekinen. Maybe one last shot, Mekinen. One last shot, buddy. One last shot. There we go. Up to Gustafsson. Nine seconds left. Uh, let's get the fourth, second line and second pair in there. Why not? To finish it off, boys. Uh, get Pasternak to Kuznetsov and Keller to celebrate on the ice right there. There we go, up to the puck. Uh, Power's going to try and shoot it one last time. Not going to happen. But uh, it's done, boys. We did it. We finally did it. We got them won the cup. The Buffalo Sabres are the Stanley Cup champions, boys. After the six year, after six years of hardships, we finally managed to do it. It took six years, boys. And it took three President's Trophy to do it. But we finally managed to do it. Once we got past that uh, so-called third round, we were able to just completely demolish what looks to, look to be a really solid team in the Seattle Krakens. But uh, that just proves you that uh, we are the best team out of the two of them. Not to, uh, uh, not to get anything away from them. They were definitely a good team, but... We are just superior to them in all numbers. And with all the players, finally, like Mekinen, Laine, Marner, Rentinen, Kuznetsov, all these players, they finally get a chance to uh, to host the cup, boys, in their brand new team. So it finally paid off, boys. I'm really happy about what I'm seeing right here. Who's going to win it? 
Cl Clay Clayton Keller, boys, none other than himself, to win the Con Smite. So congratulations to Clayton Clutch Keller, boys, winning the Con Smite, uh, Con Smite for, uh, for us. I don't even remember when was the last time the Buffalo Sabres actually won the cup. If they won it at all, I think they probably did. Uh, maybe once. I'm not sure, but if that's not the case, might be their first time, but there it is. The beauty of a trophy, boys. The Stanley Cup itself. And uh, who else but Rasmus Dahlin to host the cup, as uh, to be the first to host the cup, boys, for his team. There it is, buddy. Celebrate all the way, all you can. I don't know if you're ever going to get another chance to celebrate with this team, but there it is. And who's that right there? Number 70, I believe that is Pasternak. Is that it? Who is that it? Uh, who is that? I couldn't tell, man. They're not showing off the number. Oh, Larkin. It's it's Larkin, boys. He gave, he gave it uh, the one that's going to give the biggest uh, celebration with a... Uh, with it, I guess it's Keller. Fitting enough. Yeah, why not? Why not? So Keller is going to get the biggest uh, celebration. He just gained the Con Smite as, after all. So, All right. But I'm, I'm happy about this. I'm really happy. The fact that we won the Cup. I was ready to give up as well after the fifth, uh, the fifth uh, season. I'm happy I didn't give up, boys. That just tells you don't give up. And uh, everything can happen. Uh, everything right can happen. And talk about this guy. Kasha got to trade away to our team in the middle of uh, uh, at the trade deadline. He ended up being a really good acquisition for us, boys. He helped us make it all the way to the finals and winning the cup itself. So, yeah, Kasha was a really good addition to the team. All right, well, there we are. We are in the offseason now, officially, as the Vegas Golden Knights' as coach is going to get fired. Uh, we won the cup, boys. We finally did it about them time. And we're going to take a look at the stats uh, or the trophies really quick. So there we go. We, uh, we won the cup, boys. First time in six years for the President's Trophy. Third time in a row, boys, that we win the uh, the President's Trophy, of course. Uh, Clarence Campbell going to the Seattle Krakens. We uh, won the cup, of course. We got the Prince, uh, Prince of Wales Trophy as well. And uh, individual stats, AO with the Art Ross, Matthews with the Maurice Richard, Len uh, Ted Lindsay for AO as well, AO with the Frank Silky, uh, Jack Adams for Petri Angel, the coach of uh, Calgary, Bill Masterton going to uh, Prindis, Williams Jennings going to Demko, the Vizina Trophy going to Tatch and Demko, uh, actually. All right, that's interesting. So, I mean, Campbell won two, uh, twice in a row the President's Trophy for us. And uh, we traded him away. I guess he didn't... Uh, he, he, that was pretty bad for him. They also had... Yeah, the, the, the Krakens also had the best... Uh, the, not only the best goaltender, but also the best prospect of the league. But we just had a better overall team than them. So that's just how it goes sometimes. So I'm going to leave it right here, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.